Hi guys, how are you doing? Guys, please remember to like, subscribe, and share these videos. Um, I see I got a lot of views, but my views don't match my likes, guys. And the more you like it, the more other people are also blessed and could listen to the videos and just be encouraged just to keep standing. So I really want to encourage as many people as I possibly can. So guys, if you can, just like it. Thank you so much. But I want to get right into this video. And the topic, of course, for today, as you read, is are you prepared for your spouse return? Are you prepared, guys? Are you guys prepared? Ladies and gentlemen, are you prepared? As I was reading um, Matthew 25, 1 through 12, um, the story talked about the, the five wise women and the five foolish women. The five, yeah, the five foolish wom women. And the, the thought just came to my head, are you prepared for your spouse return? When I was reading a, full, a few of the things that struck me, was it says the kingdom of heaven is like what happened when one night when 10 young women took their oil lamps and went to a wedding to meet the groom five of them were foolish and five were wise the foolish one took their lamps but no extra oil the ones who were wise took a long extra oil for their lamps and I thought to myself, well, God, what does oil, you know, mean in, in, in this context? Like, what is the oil? And as I researched, guys, and just read more scriptures, I got that the oil is the Holy Spirit. The oil could be the word of God. You know, the oil is the presence of God. So the wise ones took those things with them. And then it said the groom was late arriving. The groom was delayed and the young woman became drowsy and fell asleep, meaning that they were no longer watching. They, they were no longer in preparation, preparing. It was taking so long. They just got tired and just stopped. It says then in the middle of the night, someone shouted, here's the groom come to meet him. And when the woman got up, and started getting their lamps ready the foolish one said to the others let us have some of your oil our lamps are going out those who were wise answered there's not enough oil for all of us go and buy some for yourselves go and buy some for yourselves and while the foolish ones were gone to get some oil the groom arrived and the five who was ready went into the wedding and the doors were closed and later the others returned and shouted sir sir open the door for us and the groom replied i don't even know you and then at the end at, at the end of the scripture in 13 it says so my disciples always be ready you don't know the day or the time when all of this will happen. So I want to just speak to you guys and encourage you and say, guys, be prepared and always be ready. You don't know the day or time when your spouse is going to return. You do not know. It can be tomorrow. Your spouse can come home tomorrow and just because his arrival or her arrival has been delayed it does not mean it's not going to happen if there just has been a delay but they're still going to come god is still a god of his word he is not a man that he should lie if he said he's going to restore he will so do not be like the foolish woman or be a foolish man and don't pay attention to the time and don't have that extra oil that you need to sustain you in, in, in preparation for your spouse return because your spouse is going to come. They're going, they're going to come. So be vigilant, be on a lookout. And God just, um, started give, you just, just asking me a few questions. And it's, he basically said, are you prepared for your spouse return? What if your spouse comes back worse than what they were before they left? Are you still ready and willing to receive them with open arms? Do you have enough oil to, sus to sustain them while God works on their brokenness? Guys, you guys, we, we all have to ask ourselves that. Do we have enough oil to sustain our spouses while God works on their brokenness when, upon their return? Do we have enough oil? Do we have enough of God's word in our heart? Do Are we whole? Has God brought healing to us? or has healed us to a certain place where we could 
aid them in their brokenness or are we still broken? Because let me tell you something, guys, if we don't ask God to heal us and work on our hearts, our spouses are going to come with their brokenness. The enemy is going to try to use them to cause, you know, it could be confusion or um, the enemy is going to try to use them to pull out some things that used to be hurtful to us in the past. And we're going to, uh, if we don't have enough oil, we're going to revert back to old ways of arguments old ways of dealing with things but God's like listen you are a new creature the old things has passed behold then a new thing has come I know I say that a lot guys but it is true God is saying I, I I made you new now show your spouse you're not the same old person anymore you are a new being completely new so basically are you at a place of wholeness or holiness where the enemy in your spouses or the enemy that is working through our spouses can no longer control your emotions. Are you at that place? Because that is a part of the preparation for your spouse return. Because of course their return is going to bring joy, but are you whole enough to weather the storm? Are you whole enough to weather the storms of shame in brokenness and pain that may come along upon your spouse return are you whole enough do you have enough of god's word in you or enough of his holy spirit or enough of his attitude does your attitude reflect the father's heart and that is where i ended my notes guys does your attitude reflect the father's heart because if your spouse comes home and you're the same person and you're still arguing with them and you're still fighting with them and you're not showing them the love, the love of God. They're going to be like, you're a joke. You're a joke. I thought you changed, but you lied. You have not changed. You're the same person that you were before I left. They may come home broken. They may need you to be that strength in the strength of prayer, the strength of God's word, the strength of love. Because strength is not just physical. They, they may need you to be the helper to help them get to God. You get what I'm saying, guys? So we have to be prepared in that way as well. Yes, of course, we have to get, you know, our house in order and, you know, upon, upon their preparation because that is also acts of faith. But you need to be prepared in your heart. Is your heart prepared for their return? If they say something to you that is nasty, that is hurtful, that is painful, are you going to respond the same old way you used to? Because if you do, that could hinder their process that can hinder their healing. So guys, be sure that you're, you're that you're getting to a place of wholeness in God. Ask God to heal you in your broken area so that when uh, that when your spouse return, um you you'll have enough oil. Cuz you don't want to be like the foolish virgins asking someone for for their oil. Cuz you don't cuz you weren't you weren't preparing enough and your spouse returned and, and, and you were shocked because it, they, it, it was delayed, but they came and God, and God stood on his word. And now he sent them home and you're not ready for it. God does not want us to be unprepared, guys. He loves us. He wants us to enjoy our spouses, but he wants us to be prepared. He doesn't want the enemy to catch us off guard. He wants us to be guarded. So guys, I'm asking you today, and I'm going to do this myself. Make sure you got you guys are getting healing in the areas of your own brokenness. So that way, when your spouse is to return, you don't fall back to the same old habits. You're not the same old you because you are a new creature. You are new. You are a different person. Let your spouse see that in your behavior, your character. When they act nasty, you take the you take the high road. You say, you know what? I, I got to go to prayer. I, I got to go in prayer and I need to talk to God. Because that will literally lead them to Christ. That will show them like, wow, my spouse has changed. If God could do this for them, I know he could do it for me. Because they would have never responded like that. So guys, that's the word that God has put, it on, put on my heart today. I love you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you need anything, do not hesitate to email me. I look forward to your emails. I literally check them 
every day. If I miss it that day, I'll definitely try to get back to you the next business day, um, guys. So just please, just please be prepared because your spouses are coming. Something is happening in the atmosphere. Things are shifting. Your spouses are on their way. If they came this hour, would you be ready? I want you guys to ask yourself that if my spouse came home this very hour, am I ready? Am I ready for everything their return may come with? Are you ready? Be blessed. Have a blessed day.